Good morning. I just finished at the gym. Holy moly, I have a new workout. It's long <laughs> and it's hard and I'm still having a few issues with my chest and some of the chest exercises kind of bother me a little bit. So I had to really think about it, make some modifications, but I feel really, really good that my workout is done for the day. I'm now walking home. Today's kind of an exciting day. I don't really want to spill the beans of what we're doing, but this afternoon I'm doing something that I have been waiting to do. I did a lot of research, tried to find where I could get this done, and it's really going to enlighten me and give me more information on my body and where I am as far as like my workouts and things go. So I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm really excited to share it with you. Hopefully I get my results immediately. We can go over that when I get home, but I'm gonna go ahead and walk home. I did make my protein coffee this morning and drank about half of it before I went to the gym. It was still dark when I walked here and I wanted to get to the gym fairly early which I don't know if that was a good decision or not because the gym was super, super busy, but I got my workout in. I'm gonna finish my protein coffee and then we're gonna make some breakfast. I have some coaching calls today, some editing to do, and yeah, then we're heading out for something super exciting this afternoon. Good morning, I am home. I just finished my protein coffee. I'm ready for the day, rocking the Halloween gear. I've got my Witches Brew Coffee T-shirt. I've got the fun Halloween earrings from Timu and and my boo necklace. All of this is from my recent Timu haul where I hauled a lot of good Halloween fall stuff. So I'll link that video down below if you missed it. I love this t-shirt. It's so buttery soft. I've been just channeling all the Halloween up until the actual day of Halloween. So I am going to make some breakfast. So I'm going to make protein oatmeal. So I have some rolled oats. This is a mix between a rolled oat and a steel cutout. I actually bought these at Costco. They're from, I believe the brand Coach or Coaches. They're an organic oat. And then I'm actually going to add a pack of the Clean Simple Eats Simply Vanilla Protein. This will give me a big punch of protein in my oatmeal. I love Clean Simple Eats, as you know. I love these single packets. It's just so convenient. You can take them with you. It's pre-portioned out. I use these at home with more than I use the full size bags. There is, I get asked a lot about trying the different flavors of Clean Simple Eats. They actually have a protein assortment variety box where you get to try a ton of the flavors and they come in these little packets. So I have a discount for Clean Simple Eats, 10% off. I'll link it down below for you. I recommend the variety pack to start to figure out what protein flavors you like. Spoiler alert, they're all really good, but it's a good way to find your favorite flavors and try them all out. So I'm going to add a scoop of that. And then I'm also going to to add nut butter. I'm going to have 10 grams of peanut butter and I'm using the Franken butter, peanut butter from American Dream Nut Butter. This was one of their fun Halloween launches. It basically has like little candy bits and sprinkles in it. It's so good. So I'm just going to measure out 10 grams. I do have a discount for American Dream Nut Butter as well. So I'll put that down in the description box along with Clean Simple Eats. And then for a fruit, I'm going to add some fresh strawberries. So I have 30 grams of oatmeal. I'm going to toss out my scale, zero it out, and add my 10 grams of nut butter. Hey, that was 10 on the nose. My packet of Clean Simple Eats. I did put a little bit extra water in my oatmeal just so that there was enough liquid to mix in the nut butter and the protein powder. And then just give that a good stir. And then I have 100 grams of strawberries. So I'm going to add that. So here is my post-workout breakfast. This is perfection. We've got protein, complex carbohydrates, fruit, and a fat source in our nut butter, plus a little extra protein. I'm so excited for this. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. She's so funny. She just nibbles on the toys and then she wants to play every once in a while, but we always laugh at her because she just lightly nibbles. She's just having a good time over here by herself. What you doing, Lola? You got your baby? <gasps> Do you have your baby? Yes, you got your baby. Hi, honey. It is about 9 a.m. I'm going to make some cold brew. I kind of feel like I want a little bit of a pick-me-up before I really jump into this busy day. So I made some cold brew the other day. I shared that I use the Drag Up cold brew. I've talked about this a lot. It's the only cold brew that I like. I've tried so many. The pre-made ones in the grocery store, 
I don't like any of those. I've tried some of the other grinds. Didn't like any of them. This one is really good. It's not bitter and it has really good flavor. So in my cold brew pitcher is the last of Pumpkin AF. This is Bananas Foster, amazing. Any of the flavors of the Drag Up are so, so good. I'll link Drag Up down below with the discount. So I'm going to add my cold brew and then I have about two tablespoons left of the Cliffia Farms Pumpkin Spice Creamer, which is perfect because then I'll be out of my pumpkin spice cold brew. So I'm going to add that and sip on this while I get some work done this morning. Cheers. Get him, get him Lola, get Palmer. Get him, yeah, go Lola, go. Get him, get Palmer. Palmer, get him. Get him. Yeah, get him. Yeah, you got his collar. You go for the jugular. Yeah, you go for the jugular. Yeah. <laughs> These two. She goes for his collar. He bites her back legs. Get him. Get him. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Yeah, get the baby. Oh, yeah. Good job, Lola. Alrighty, we are in the car. I ended up bringing my coffee with me to sip on and my water. So I filled that up with water and my Motivate Recovery after my workout. So I'm going to finish my coffee, then work on my water. I also brought the Pure Protein Chocolate Deluxe Protein Bar, 21 grams of protein, 180 calories. Better safe than sorry. I'm pretty darn full from my breakfast, but I wanted to bring that just in case I get hungry before I get home and can have some lunch. So you may be wondering where we're going. So we are actually heading to Costco. I need to do my Costco stock up haul. I was actually going to wait until next week, right before I go to Texas, but we are out of so many things. We're out of peanut butter. We're out, almost out of garbage bags. We need laundry things. We need dishwasher detergent. There's just a lot of stuff that we need that we're almost out of. And next week, I just have a feeling maybe pushing it to go to Costco with the week before I leave. I'm so busy with coaching calls and you know, I have to pre-film, pre-edit, pre-upload so you have content when I'm gone. So I think it just makes sense for me to go now. And then I was like, then I was thinking that I would go when I have to go back to Tucson this afternoon, but that's not gonna work. It's gonna be 90 something degrees today and I can't leave all the food in my car while I'm at my appointment this afternoon. So we're going to Costco. It, we're gonna hit Costco up right at 10 o'clock this morning when it opens so that I'm able to get home for my 12 o'clock coaching call. We'll head back to Tucson this afternoon for my appointment. So off to Costco we go. I am on my way home and I just wanted to hop on really quick and let you know that I just ate my protein bar. It is almost 11. I was so hungry. And by the time I get home, get this grocery haul filmed, everything put away, it'll definitely be lunchtime. But quick update, protein bar, morning snack. So here is my lunch for today. I'm going to eat and we'll be heading out the door here in about 30 minutes. So I have four ounces of chicken. This is just grilled chicken. 40 grams of avocado, one tortilla. This is the zero carb, but you could do the Mission or this Guerrero brand. So I'm going to fill that with the chicken and the avocado. And then I have one chocolate rice cake. That's a quick, fast acting carb to give me a little boost of energy. Otherwise we have a pretty protein packed, fiber filled, healthy fat lunch. Get it, get the baby. Oh yeah, go, 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 go. Get it, get it. Yes, <laughs> you're so vicious. You're so very vicious. As promised, we're in the car and we're headed to my appointment. What appointment we're heading to, you might ask? I'm so excited, you guys. I am going to have my first ever DEXA scan. Now, if you follow me, you know that almost one year ago, in November of last year, I had a body scan. Basically where you stand on this spinning pedestal and it measures your body. It's supposed to tell you how much body fat you have, lean muscle, water, what your calories are, kind of what you need to do to reach your goals, whether it's weight loss or muscle building. When I had that body scan, I was really happy with the results of that. But when the lady who did my scan said that the scan was going to measure my loose skin as fat, the the skin I had on my back and the skin I had alongside my breasts and that she recommended that I have another body scan after 
I have my cosmetic surgery. So here we are after cosmetic surgery, almost six months post-op from that. And I decided to opt for a DEXA scan rather than a body scan. This all ties into all the updates coming on my channel. So stay tuned for an update video. But a DEXA scan is what was recommended because it's much more accurate. You basically go into a machine similar to a CAT scan or an MRI and it measures everything. It's extremely, extremely accurate. So unlike the body scan, that's just measuring circumference and it doesn't know what the circumference is made up of. Kind of like the scale. The scale doesn't know what the mass is made up of. The body scan actually scans your in internal body. So it knows the weight of organs, water, bone, muscle, fat. It's going to give you a complete overall picture of your health. I do have some new goals that I'm setting for myself. I do have kind of a new fitness journey that I'm embarking on. Again, updates coming soon. I know it's like the carrot, come get the carrot, but I can't share everything yet because I'm still finalizing details. However, this DEXA scan is going to give me a baseline for the changes that are coming. So I'm really excited for it. If you're interested in a DEXA scan, my recommendation would be to just search your area. For me, I could only find one in Tucson, which I'm sure there's got to be more than one. There's half a million people in Tucson. There can't only be one option for a DEXA scan, but this is the only one that I could find. They do range anywhere from about $100 to $200. Mine was $200 or $195. Insurance sometimes covers it, but most likely not. So if you want to know just a true picture of your body and kind of where you are fat wise, fitness wise, lean muscle wise, calorie wise, TDEE, all the info, I would recommend a DEXA scan. So we're on our way. It is about a 40 minute drive one way for me. So I did bring my water. I actually refilled my water after I ate lunch. I even threw a meat stick. Let me show you. I did throw one of the little Archer Farms mini meat sticks in my bag just in case I got hungry. I have a really good dinner, healthy dinner plan, but I didn't want to get myself in a position where I'm hungry and I don't have a healthy snack. So that is why I always usually keep a meat stick in my purse. I will leave that in there for future situations, but we're on our way for my first ever DEXA scan. Oh my goodness, that was the process. So I actually sat there for 30 minutes past my appointment time. So I actually sat there for an hour before they actually took me back for my DEXA scan. And I was a little bit panicked because I had a coaching call and I was able to get on the coaching call. And the scan was actually really cool. So I laid on this table and I had to have my hands a certain way and my feet a certain way and not move at all. And then this machine kind of passed over the top of me seven times and it did all the measurements. So when I finished with the DEXA scan, I got a printout. So I have a printout of my bone density and I have a printout of my body composition. I, It's not 100% detailed and thorough. Apparently there's an app that actually gives you the thorough result of both your bone scan and your body composition scan. So I've reached out to the company that I scheduled my DEXA scan with to find out how I get access to the app. So this is basically telling me my bone density is good. And then it's telling me that this is interesting. I want everybody to pay special attention for those in the back, special attention. This is telling me that my body fat based on my height and my weight, right? Nothing to do with the scan. The scan doesn't measure body fat. Now it does measure the fat in certain areas of your body and your overall fat, but your body fat percentage is going to be based solely on the BMI chart. So this is saying that I'm overweight on the BMI chart and I'm like this far away in the little chart thing. If you can see that here, you guys probably can't see very well in the car, but I'm overweight on the BMI chart and that my body fat percentage is 32 and it needs to be 28, which you guys would mean that I would need to lose like 25 more pounds. So the BMI chart, we don't know her. So that part of the body scan, I am completely disregarding. It means literally absolutely nothing to me. The rest of it, I don't understand. So the blue is bone. The pinky stuff around the bone area is lean muscle. And then yellow would be fat. And I don't really have any yellow areas. I do have some light orange areas which would fall between fat and lean muscles. So like I said, I don't fully understand how to read this. So unfortunately, I won't be able to give you a thorough analysis of my body scan until I hear back from the company that I booked it with. And if I do have to use this app, the app apparently breaks everything down um, and gives you all of the details. So at this point, I don't have all the details, but I have the basis information of the scan. So 
I will update you guys in a future video, either a weigh-in video or what I eat in a day with the full results of my body scan. And then kind of what my plan is moving forward, fitness related and like future body scan related. Do you have a bath? Oh, you guys had a bath. Were you good doggies? Oh yeah, you guys love baths. You were so good. I think because you were such good doggies that you guys need a treat. Oh, do we need a treat? Yeah, do we? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Troy said they were really dirty, so I feel like since they were so good in the back that they get a treat. Easy, good boy. Easy, good girl. So I just got home and I'm going to make some dinner. It's a little after four. I have a pound of 93% ground turkey. I'm going to fry this up. I wanna be able to use this with taco seasoning for tacos. I want to be able to add marinara if I want. I'm going to have some sweet potatoes and put together just a really healthy protein packed dinner. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook this up and then I'll show you what else I'm having for dinner. So here's what I ended up with for dinner. I have four ounces of the ground turkey. I just added some taco seasoning. Troy's gonna make some tacos as well. And then I have two of my little zero carb tortillas so that I can make a little makeshift street taco. I have 100 grams of Brussels sprouts and 85 grams of sweet potato. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Lola, high five daddy. High five. Yeah, good girl, high five, yeah. Oh, and then Palmer bites her back legs. Palmer! So I'm going to make some dessert and I'm going to have a protein dessert because I didn't have an afternoon snack. So I'm a little lower on calories and protein than I want to be. So I'm really going to amp it up with my dessert and I'm gonna make a yogurt bowl. You guys know I love my yogurt bowls. So I'm gonna start with a Chobani zero sugar yogurt and I chose strawberry because I'm going to mix in a pack of the Clean Simple Eat strawberry cheesecake protein and that's going to give me Kind of a mousse consistency, it's so good mixed into yogurt. This has 20 grams of protein, this has 11, so that's 31 right there. And then I'm going to top it with some fresh raspberries, some hemp seeds, and some pumpkin seeds for some fiber, some fat, some crunch, and then about a tablespoon and a half of Chia Smash. This is the grape, I love Chia Smash. It is basically a whole food jam, so there's chia seeds, lemon, honey, and then the fruit, and that's all that it is. So nice, clean ingredients. I buy it off of Amazon, so I'll link it down below for you guys. So let me mix up my yogurt ball, and I'll show you what I'm having for dessert, and that will be my final meal of the day. So here is my dessert, my yogurt bowl. I weighed everything out on my food scale. We're getting in a ton of protein, satisfy the sweet tooth, healthy option for dessert. Highly recommend a good protein packed yogurt bowl. joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, going to my DEXA scan, running our errands, all the amazing whole real food. I do have a large update video coming your way in the next couple of weeks, most likely when I return from my trip to Texas the beginning of November. I'm making quite a few changes that relate to my channel, my health, my fitness, so I'll be sharing that with you in an updated video as well, in a future video as well. Don't forget to check out the the description box. I'll link everything I shared with you today, as well as nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my other favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!